Hey there, happy holidays. It's Katrina Sawa, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourbiznow.com and jumpstartpublishing.net. And we are ending the year, hopefully strong, hopefully with bigger sales than you did last year. And hopefully you've crushed it and you're excited about moving into the new year. You have bigger goals. Uh, you have the confidence to go after them. That is my wish for you. Um, it's also a time of year where you enjoy, when you do enjoy yourself, right? And your family time is so important. It, it Time really does fly, right? Doesn't it? Um, and life is too short. You never know when something's going to happen. And I think you always want to make time for family, friends, uh, your own self-care. And, you know, you can do that if you put your mind to it. So I want you to start thinking about what you're going to do differently next year. What are you going to do differently? Will you get more visible? Will you play bigger? Will you get more consistent? How about more assertive? Will you put yourself first more often? I'd love to hear what you want to level up this coming year. Uh, make a comment below or find me online on social media or go to my website and really just fill out the contact form. Like hold yourself accountable to this. Proclaim what it is you want. Like really think how you're going to do something differently. Because if you do the same thing as you did last year, honestly, times have changed and we have to keep inventing new, new ways and new strategies and being more creative to get more visible. We have to do a lot more little nitty gritty things these days to get in front of a lot more people, right? Um, and you you need more confidence to go into next year. Every every year you want to level up, right? Into the next thing and the next thing. So I was talking about, I want to talk about how to get to six figures if you're not there yet, right? It can be uh, a little easier than you think. It depends. I like to simplify things a lot. I know that when I first started my business in 2002, I thought it was going to be a lot easier to make a lot more money. And uh, it actually took me six years to get to the six figure mark in my business. Not the way I thought it would go, right? Although in the beginning, my goal wasn't even to hit six figures in the first place because I'd never made them in a job. I never made that in a job. So it wasn't necessarily on my radar until I started learning and listening to other entrepreneurs who were doing it and going, oh, well, if they're doing it, I could do it, right? So it wasn't until I saw proof of what could happen that I actually believed that I could, I could do it too. So sometimes you need to surround yourself with people that are playing bigger than you, making more money than you, so you can actually see how possible it is for you. But uh, so how, right? How, what do you need to do in order to get to six figures? There's six things that I'll talk about briefly here. And then there is a, a, an article on my blog. So if you go to jumpstart your biznow.com forward slash blog, you should be able to see the six figure, six steps to six figure success blog post um, <clears throat> that should be posted here pretty soon if it's not already there. Um, but the six steps are number one, having the right pricing and product mix. That was the key because I know a lot of coaches wanted me to have just high end programs and nothing low because they wanted me to focus on the uh, people, more people with money. Um, and some people tell you to focus on the low price thing so you can get more people. And some people tell you to focus on like a signature thing that's kind of middle price, right? And not the higher low and just stay the game. Oh my God, it's the advice is all over the board. I know it. So I think having a mix though of the low, the middle and the high, because you never know where someone's going to be at. And the more people you talk to, the more they'll fit in one of those things. So why narrow it down? I don't know. I say have a good product mix and pricing, um, but do make sure that you charge a high figure for something. Okay. I do want you to have a high a high-end program over $10,000 if you can, because if you don't have one, you'll never sell one, right? So, <laughs> all right, number two is positioning yourself as the expert. That is so important. And these days with the DIYs out there and the website, uh, you just should not be doing your own website. I'm sorry, but unless you are really graphically inclined and 
you know how to write really good sales and marketing web copy, okay? It's different than a flyer. It's different than an email. And it's different than a social media post, frankly, okay? Then you should not be doing your own website, please. So the positioning is not just your website, though. It's your brand. It's how you position yourself in your Zoom room if you're on Zoom a lot, right? I have books behind me, so I look like an expert. I am an expert, of course. But uh, positioning yourself is what you look like on social media. It's how you're projecting yourself. It's the perception of others about you. Uh, number three is leverage everything you've got. We need you to leverage your expertise into many different offerings, like I mentioned before, including recording things and making DIY trainings, uh, leveraging your time by hiring things out that you're not good at. Uh, so having a team, uh, you have to trust that it'll all work out in the end. You will be successful uh, and, and leverage technology and tools to get stuff done faster. Leverage is really key. Number four is list building. I know you've heard this, but you can never stop list building. You have so many ways of doing it these days, which makes it nice, But you and you don't have to do it all uh, if it doesn't all res resonate with you, but you have to get in front of a lot more people than in different ways than you used to. Honestly, with the internet and social media, you'd think it'd be easier these days, but it's not because a lot of the CRMs and the, and the email systems, they're cracking down and a lot of people will build their list and then they won't nurture it or they won't send stuff or they won't have responsive people. And then you'll lose those subscribers. Yes, you do. So you got to be careful. Um, and then number five is your mindset matters. Your mindset really matters in order to get to six figures. You, most likely you'll have to do some sort of coaching or training around something to do with your mindset, because I haven't seen anyone yet who doesn't have some sort of limiting belief, self-doubt, self-worth issue, or money issue. You have to have a healthy money mindset to charge higher prices and be assertive enough to ask for the sale in any situation. You need to be completely confident in your abilities, regardless if you just start started your business or not. You must know your worth and not be afraid to put yourself in the spotlight. And you can get better with this over time, especially if you have someone cheering you on and helping you course correct, right? You have to trust and you have to get mentors. Number six is the ability to sell well. Yes, I'm sorry to say if you have not done sales and marketing jobs or classes in the past, you're going to need to do that. You really need to uh, keep honing your sales skills and take classes and workshops and hire mentors and sales, learn how to sell from stage, learn how to sell from Zoom, learn how, learn how to sell one-on-one, -on -one, learn how to sell through your website copy, learn how to sell in your email marketing. All of it, you have to learn how to sell. And it's slightly different in all those situations. If you're not learning how to sell, you're not going to get very far because you can't outsource that. Um, there's a couple of people that I know that have big sales teams, but most of the time you're going to be the one. So that's not something to outsource. So if that's something you're not comfortable with or not willing to invest in to learn more about, then you honestly, you should go get a job because this is, eh. you, so I know you can do this. If you put your mind to it, if you get the right things in place, if you get the right training and mentors, if any of these things are things you know you need to work on though, and you want more support with, please reach out. I help my clients with all of these things and so much more. And I would love to talk to you. So you can go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash work with me. And you can learn my philosophies, how I work. You can sign up for a call with me. Uh, a free consultation. Honestly, I mean, I am a great person to talk to no matter what level you're at, no matter where you are in your business, no matter what kind of business. I've worked with all kinds of businesses. So hopefully this is helpful for you today. Please have a happy holiday, happy new year, and uh, let's make a lot of money and a big impact uh, doing what we love in 2024. Bye, you guys.